Alright, so today I want to talk about how to verify the dice roll seed generation on your hardware wallet using the iancoleman.io slash bit39 website. Okay, um, this website allows you to input uh, the same dice rolls and then it will output the seed phrase and you can check to see if that seed phrase matches the one that your hardware wallet gave. Okay. Um, if you're going to be doing this, the dice roll seed generation on your device, it's important to verify that it's actually giving you the correct seed phrase because, <laughs> um, you know, you want to make sure that uh, they're not giving you a, a phony seed phrase, right? One that um, they already know and that they could you know, potentially steal your funds with, right? You want to verify that it's actually giving you the correct one. Um, and you can use this site to do that. Okay, so I'll kind of walk you through the steps of doing that. When you're doing this yourself, um, I would suggest you at least test it once, right? Using this site, maybe twice. Um, and once you've verified that the website is giving the same results as your signing device, then you can make a brand new seed phrase with a whole you know, brand new set of dice rolls and when you make the real seed phrase that you're going to be using for your Bitcoin, do not enter those dice rolls into the website, okay? You only enter the dice rolls into the website when you're doing the testing, when you're doing the verification, okay? But for the real dice rolls that you're using to make your real Bitcoin wallet, those ones you never put online in the same way that you would never put your seed phrase online, okay? Everything when you're doing the real the real deal should stay offline and only on your hardware wallet. Okay. So what I'm going to do first, uh, I'm going to do 50 dice rolls. I'll I'll write them all out, and then we'll put them in each of these devices. And once we have it in each device, we'll compare it to um, the results on the Ian Coleman.io slash bit39 website. Okay, so I'll get started now with the dice rolls. And I will do 50 dice rolls for a 12 word seed phrase. If you're doing a 24 word seed phrase, you would wanna do um, 99 dice rolls, okay? All right, so I think that that was 50 rolls. Yep, okay. So now let's go ahead and enter these rolls in each of our devices. Okay, I'll start with the seed signer. Okay, so in the seed signer, what you're gonna do is you're going to go over to seeds you're going to go down to create a seed. You're going to go to the second option here that has the dice icons. Okay, and I'm going to do a 12 word seed with 50 rolls. Okay, and then now you just kind of go over and you enter in your, your dice rolls one by one until you have all 50. All right. All right, and then when you do the last one, it automatically gets to this screen, okay? And it, it gives you a warning here. So, and this is an important warning, never input your seed phrase into a device that connects to the internet. Likewise, never put your dice rolls into a device that connects to the internet, unless, of course, you're just doing it to test the dice roll functionality on a seed for, on, on, on hardware wallet. Okay. So only when you're doing the testing, you can, you can put it in, in, in the device that connects the internet. But if you're doing it, you know, in real life and you're making 
a seed phrase that you're going to use to secure your Bitcoin. Don't put that stuff in any device that's connected to the internet. All right. So now, here it has the you know the first four seed words shown, and then it will uh, show the next uh, eight if we go down the menu. Um, so we'll check that in a bit. Let's do the cold card queue next. Okay. So now with the cold card queue, you're going to do new seed words. Press enter, and then you'll go to 12 word dice roll. You can press enter there. Okay, and now you're going to enter the dice rolls, one through six. Okay. So the cold card, um, it will let you do more rolls if you want, um, but you can stop at 50 if you're just in a 12 word seed phrase. I'll go ahead and press enter there. And now it gives me those 12 words. All right. Um, so now let's do the keystone. All right. So for the keystone, power it up. Um, you click create wallet. And you're going to give it a pin. I'll just for the, you know, because it's a tutorial, I'll just give it a simple pin here. All right. And then you give it a wallet name. I'll just call this test. There you go. Okay. And now here, what you do is you click on these three dots up top. You click on change entropy. And now you go to the dice roll option. Okay. And it's going to give you some information about the dice rolls. So go ahead and read that. And then press check. And now you can press standard seed phrase. It's going to tell you, you know, make sure there's no one that's uh, spying on you. Right. Okay, and now I'll go ahead and enter the dice rolls. All right, and like the cold card, the keystone will allow you to enter more if you want. Um, but if you're only going to do a, a 12 word seed phrase, then you know 50 dice rolls um, is kind of the the standard amount that you would need. So go ahead and press check. Okay. And by default, it's going to give you a 24 word seed phrase, but you can switch this to a 12 word by clicking that option and then switching to 12. Okay. And so here are the 12 words that the keystone has created. Okay. So the final step is let's go ahead and take, uh, you know, uh, our, our phone, right. Which is connected to the internet and, um, I went to this site, so iancoleman.io slash pip39. Okay, see that? So go ahead and go to that site. And now on this site, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and you're going to click on show entropy details. Okay, and now here is where you enter in your dice rolls. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and enter in the same dice rolls onto this website. Okay, so I've entered in all 50 dice rolls. You can see it gives you a, a count there, so you know that you entered all 50 in. Okay, and now if you go down, um, it, it gives you some options as to how you want to derive your seed phrase from these dice rolls. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at, um, base 10. Okay. Cause base 10 is actually the, uh, is the way that the seed signer and the cold card derive the seed phrases from the dice rolls. Um, and dice one through six is how the keystone does. So first let's go ahead and do the base 10 option. Okay. And now if we scroll down, we'll see that there are the 12 words there. Okay. So let's check those 12 words. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I forgot one thing. 
So mnemonic length, we want to make sure that this is 12 words, okay? Very important to do that, <laughs> otherwise you're going to get confused. Okay, so mnemonic length, 12 words, and then let's go ahead and do base 10 again. Sorry about that. All right, so yeah, now we have the 12 words, and let's compare it to the cold card. So you can see here, resist, around, clay, hand, lesson, kid, trust, design, smoke, across, theme, solution. So that proves it, right? That verifies that the cold card is doing the dice roll um, function correctly. Okay, so, um, you know, we could test this a couple more times just to be absolutely sure that it's, you know, that it's doing it correctly. Um, but, you know, this, this is now uh, verified. So you can be pretty confident with the cold card that it's going to give you um, a good seed phrase with your dice rolls. Okay, so that's great. Um, let's check the output from the seed signer. Okay. And similar to the cold card, the seed signer is also using that base 10 option. So, you know, it has those first four words and then the second set of four words and then the fourth set of, or sorry, the third set of fourth words. Okay. So they all look good. That's great. So the seat signer is also verified now. All right. And now last but not least for the keystone, we're going to switch this to dice, okay? And if you scroll down, you'll notice that now we have a different set of 12 words, okay? Because this is a different way of um, calculating the 12 words using the dice rolls. But let's verify that these match, okay? Now, if we look here, catalog, mesh, escape, size, image, another, matrix, elbow, like, Attract barrel security. Perfect. So now we've verified that the keystone is also producing um, the correct seed phrase from the dice rolls. All right. So that's how you verify it using the Ian Coleman website. Very useful website for you know doing these different verifications. Um, again, you know I just want to reiterate: do not enter your real seed phrase or your real dice rolls into any internet connected device, right? We're just doing that for testing purposes. Um, but once you've verified that everything's working correctly, you know, then you can actually put in your real dice rolls and make your real seed phrase. And it will be perfectly random and nobody in the universe but you will know that seed phrase. So you can sleep easy at night knowing that your Bitcoin is super secure, okay? So I hope that that helps you kind of understand uh, the, ver the verification process. Um, you know, I think the, the dice roll functionality is really useful, but it's also a bit of an advanced way of making a seed phrase. So make sure you kind of understand what you're doing. Um, make sure that you roll enough dice, okay? Actually roll the dice and put them in as they're rolled. Um, you know, don't go and click a bunch of random numbers in your head because those numbers probably aren't going to be very random in real life. So actually roll the dice, put them in your, in your signing device and get a nice random seed phrase. Okay. That's all. If you have any questions or any comments, uh, please feel free to reach out. Um, and thanks for watching.